brought you a new selection of the most spectacular footage caught on camera. Watch till the end, and you will not regret it. While driving on the highway in Alaska, this car slipped on a patch of ice and slid across the road causing a gnarly mishap. Drivers need to be careful of ice. I'm so happy that no one was injured. Oh no! The car flips over the wall and crashes into the hydrant. Hope the driver's alright, and then he can recover from this incident quickly. When this driver turns to the left, a PT Cruiser runs a red light causing this car's mishap. Do not imitate Whoa. this. Jesus. The car that crossed over the median caused the incident. It's a good thing that everyone still survives. That's a heck of a blind intersection. Fortunately, at least the speed was low. Thank God, no injuries. It looks like the person rear-ending the one in front wasn't even paying attention, didn't appear to even slow down. This is traffic on M6 motorway, which is slick from an earlier rainfall. The driver of the offending car did not, it seems, apply the brakes before the collision. Car incident hard impact taken out by a truck on the A127 M25 slip road. Truck hit the van that hard and the trailer fell off as well. Hope both drivers are fine. This is a very bad habit to drive very fast on this kind of road. Hopefully those in the cars that fell into the washout hole are okay. While driving down the I-985, this driver finds himself losing control of his car when a tire blows out. Thankfully, he kept his cool. Well, that was awesome. Thank God you weren't seriously hurt or worse. What a nightmare for everyone. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Wow. This all happened in a matter of seconds. It's amazing people survived it. On a rainy day, this car loses control driving down the Antelope Valley Freeway. It drifts across five lanes and safely to the opposite shoulder. Glad they're okay. Wow, that's freaking crazy. Strong ass wind. Thank God nobody was in the car at the time. Jesus, these Subaru car racers hit the brakes and nearly missed several cars on the road. Thankfully, all of them are fine. Didn't we do well? All okay. When Big City Bus was trying to make a tight left turn, the driver didn't see the smaller car right next to him and turned into it. That's why, when driving, we should observe vehicles. Hmm, I have no idea. What's he doing if he can't drive then? Don't.
It's scary how fast that semi loses control. Fortunately, he's not injured. Tractor trailer gets turned on its side by a tornado in Horsham, Pennsylvania. Fortunately, he is not injured. I don't understand what the person in the silver truck was doing. He should have just turned around straight away or pulled off to the side and reversed down the side of the road where the yellow line was. This Chevy Camaro was speeding down the street when he lost control and crashed into a few parked cars. Thank God no injuries. After swerving down a street in Adeline, South Australia on February 28th of 2023. Glad there was no one passing at the time. My God! I can't imagine what would have happened if the driver hadn't swerved in time. Thank God everyone was not hurt. The semi truck loses back wheels trying to turn around safety barriers. Guys, don't do that. That's why we should check your tire pressures regularly and make sure that the tires aren't defective. Hope all of them are safe. God bless them. We must therefore do regular tire checks. Luckily, no one was hurt. Make sure your brakes are good, everyone. Thankfully, no one was injured. If only he had realized the tire was damaged and stopped the car. What did the white car think was going to happen? Why did the white car try to move after the tree impact? Good driving skills, man. Thank God no serious injuries occurred. That is the reason why we need to be more careful when driving on a slippery road. If the white car wants to turn right, you should go into the right lane. Whoa. Luckily, there was no collision. I think a head gasket failure. That engine needs to be checked. Oh, it's not surprising seeing that many people are careless when driving. At least they are well. Do not imitate this. Remember, the most significant thing is to maintain a safe distance. Glad that they were okay. This is a stop sign, but not a light. I think there should be lights. I bet the red car didn't look in the rearview mirror. Thankfully, no one was injured. That driver is totally distracted. He had enough time to stop. Anyway, no one was injured. Dash cam captures the gray car and was trying to do a U-turn on a red light and the white car ran through the red as well. Hope they are fine. Oh no, 
Instead of trying to clear the intersection as fast as possible, he would stop. Luckily, no one was injured. What exactly is he thinking? Collide, then run away? Do not imitate this, everyone. Oh my goodness, who issued them a driver's license to drive? Fortunately, all of them were safe. This is why we should get into the habit of looking both ways before going on a green. Oh my god, wow. <clears throat> yep. Oh, this wouldn't have happened if they had both been focused and had good judgment. Luckily no one was hurt. Who is at fault in the situation? Please, let me know your opinion in the comments. Be careful, and increase your concentration. Glad that the driver was fine. The driver is probably inexperienced. Hopefully he is more careful. Glad that he was fine. Oh no! That is the reason we have to pay attention while driving. Luckily, no one was hurt. Hey man, use the rear view mirror please. You can see trash flying off the back of the truck on the road. Fortunately, the driver was okay. Oh, he was fortunately still in the parking lot. Be careful in this bad weather, man. God bless you. Oh my goodness, luckily the driver was fine. If you can see the bottom of the water, don't drive a low or short car into it. Hey man, there's no need to move that quickly. Luckily, no one was hurt. The driver handled it well, and I didn't see a lot of sway or loss of control in the RV. Good driving skills. Perhaps it's a black car that recently received its license to drive. Be careful when turning, man. Well, these kinds of collisions commonly occur at intersections and junctions. Pay attention in T-Bone. Luckily, no one got hurt. Oh no, I feel sorry for that driver. Concentrate and pay attention. Do not worry, no one was injured. Well, people speeding in a busy shopping center is a constant cause of incidents. It's good that they were okay. The video shows a vehicle losing control before violently plowing into the median. No injuries were reported. Oh, the driver of a stolen car smashed into a residential neighborhood. Fortunately, nobody was there in the yard at the time. Oh no, the car lost control and collided with a tree. Luckily, the driver was fine.
it's crucial to drive carefully on slip roads. Not to worry, everyone was okay. Oh, he was just lucky he did not collide with someone as he ended up in the traffic. Maybe these cars were fitted with summer tires and didn't stand a chance against the black ice. Oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. No, no, no. Oops, be careful, guys. Clearly, the black driver was not paying attention. Luckily, he was safe. Don't do that, people. How can he drive into that stone? I hope he's okay. Scary stuff. That's why some people need to be more careful on freeways. Wow, he fortunately stopped in time. Been detected. Honda Link Assist will call emergency services. Note to oneself if you hear a slight grinding noise while your car is in motion, make an appointment with your local mechanic before this happens. And this is the same case. Not to worry, everyone was okay. Fortunately, the drivers were quick to respond and averted the collision. Pay attention when driving. Thankfully, both drivers were safe. Oh well, at least the driver was okay. Oh my, thankfully everyone was safe. Shouldn't they put this sign further forward so vehicles would have time to see it clearly and stop? Was she on her phone? Be alert from all directions. Thank God no one was injured. Oh my God, the red car slams on its brakes and gets rear-ended. White car caused the whole thing. Luckily, no one was hurt. I feel like it's a 50-50, and both could have prevented the incident by simply stopping. Fortunately, nobody was injured. Maybe while merging, the other cars should adjust their speed for the Corolla to enter. Glad that all of them were okay. The car sped from the side and tried to switch lanes too early. Maybe the trucker could not see this car. But do not worry, the driver was safe. Seemingly distracted driver sideswipes the U-Haul. Do not worry, no injuries. I think the fault was to the car that was turning left. It was far in the lane. Thankfully, no one was hurt.
Is it so hard to see the stop sign? Luckily, nobody got hurt. This is the reason why we have to pay attention to driving. Fortunately, no one was injured. Oh, there was no doubt that the red car was driving carelessly. Luckily, no one got hurt. Do not imitate this. Be careful, folks. People like this are out there. Luckily, the driver of the truck managed to walk away from the accident, and everyone was safe. Oh my god, that definitely wasn't good. Fortunately, no one was injured, but I think he should start considering compensation for the owners of these vehicles. I feel bad, but he should have just parked and went inside. This is a true professional. He's not giving up until he manages to destroy the whole rig. What was he thinking? That's no joke, man. It's really dangerous for him and everyone around him. So folks, never imitate him. How does he not notice an entire section of his car not closed like that, especially when he flips it out that far? And this is a similar case. Oh, yeah, all right. Maybe he was moving too fast. If he had moved slower at the corner, I don't think the fruit truck would have overturned. Wait, why did the white car brake hard in the middle of the road? He intends to commit an insurance scam, right? Remember, you are not allowed to cross a double yellow. Your insurance might actually charge you since you recorded yourself breaking the law. Luckily, no injuries were reported. Poor driver. Hopefully he was able to catch up with the tire. However, a slim chance in hell that might happen. Just be glad it wasn't a convertible. What just happened? Clearly the driver backed up too hard. Fortunately, no one was hurt in this case. I think the driver knew what was happening. He had obviously been trying to get out for a while, but was immature and aggressive and went into a rage when the trailer started getting torn. Well, that went from a minor ding to a $40,000 problem rather quickly. Why they thought it was okay to full throttle and reverse without bothering to look behind them? I 
I thought it's much more dangerous, but here the tire is fine, so the van is also perfectly moving. We found the reason why the roads are in such poor conditions. You know, when it's raining, you need to drive slower and more cautiously. Stay focused while driving and avoid any other distractions. This guy, yo, holy I don't think it was an accident. It looks like he was doing it on purpose. Is he trying to collect the insurance? While on the highway on his way to work, this driver nearly got hit by a negligent semi-truck driver who swerved right in front of his car. In the truck driver's effort to change lanes, he ended up fishtailing a semi and crashed into the leftmost guardrail. This driver missed his turn after being distracted by his cell phone, leading him to spin out into the grass and crash into a stop sign. No, man, that's a traffic light. He'll be fined a hefty amount for his mistake. He should have taken a wider turn angle. Oh. Oh. Nice. He's just rolling out. Why do they choose this unsafe transportation option? It's really dangerous for the driver and also the surrounding vehicles. No, never run a red light. It's a truly risky choice. In this case, no one was hurt, but you know, not everyone is lucky enough like this. Oh my she was God. able to react quick enough, thankfully. Most of the damage to her car was ripped off mirror and a rear bumper. Who issued this driver's license? Seriously, for safety's sake, I think she should be trained to drive again. Just pull, pull over, pull over, pull over, watch out. That is why you stay clear of big rigs. Don't ever run in a pack of vehicles, and don't get paralleled with a truck. He doesn't drive for Amazon anymore after that. Thank God they're fine. Why do you need patience while driving? A driver tried to overtake a large truck on the Bait Bridge Road, but he was unsuccessful. If he had been more patient, this would definitely not have happened. Be careful when driving in the rain because your vision is obstructed. Problems can happen at any time. Truck driver fails at making a simple right turn, backs up several times to try again. This went on for 10 minutes, so this driver finally went around in the grass. I can't believe that he missed everything on the road. Thank God no one was injured. That car just seen that yellow light and thought, don't slow down, go faster. Only it didn't end up that way for him. Thank God no one was injured. Skateboards, you're the type who walks the earth and searches. Never break abruptly in the middle of the road like this driver. Thank God no one was injured. Yeah, there's something called yield and look before turning. Wow, well, at least the car driver was still cognizant enough to hit the brakes. Thank God they're fine.
Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.